Oh my lord. It just doesn't get any better. What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac. And welcome, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Vault. That's right, we're playing here with Pugnacia Dinos, having so much fun doing flips. Man, oh man, guys, how you doing today? Hope you're doing well. Me personally, I'm doing amazing because, yes, we got so many epic and awesome creatures last episode. We hatched out not one, but two rock tricks. Actually, we hatched out one, but we got twins. Yes, we colored one up to look oh so sick. I just love that blue on the belly. We got ourselves a beautiful holographic Rex and yes, we got a primal trike. So much awesomeness, but it doesn't stop there because today there is just as many epic and awesome things out on the server. So before they despawn, I'd like to try and head out and snag a couple of them. Um, in addition, uh, there's one creature that we that I totally forgot about. Yeah, super important and pugged. Everyone should have one, especially if you have a pickup relic or matrix or whatever you use to have creatures on your shoulder. I'll explain why later when we get to it, but it is an absolute must have. Oh, look it, look it, look it. Oh, yeah, we took on an ancient Rex last time with our new holographic zombie Rex. It's so incredibly cool. But anyway, don't want to spoil things just yet. Wish me luck, guys, while I go, go out on the hunt. And also, please remember to show that amazing support for the series if you're enjoying it by slamming that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, seriously, what are you waiting for? It is the perfect time to subscribe. Anyway, I'll see you at the first creature. All right. According to the shiny finder, our first one should be just right up here. If I can find it, um, it's an absolute must have. I saw it and I was like, yeah, that that would be so perfect. Where is this dude? Dude, there's so much badness here. Oh, all right. Um, Glacial Giga, bro, you are amazing. And I do want to get one of these, but you're going to very likely mess up my tame if it's actually around here. Holy crud. I don't even know, guys. I don't even know if it's still here. If it's still alive, I I don't see it. Oh, no, I do see it. I do see it. Look at guys. Look at like this is like perfect. It is a frozen glacial pteranodon. I mean, come on now. That is so epic. All right, come on. Over here, over here. That's it. All right, got rid of that guy. Let's get rid. Oh, let's get rid of these guys. Perfect. All right, is there anything else sketch over here? Oh, it's so beautiful. I need this in my life. All right, I just have to hope everything else is okay. Passive. And I do believe I can net this guy, right? Yep, 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 yep. Ha! All right! And remember, these guys have real low torpor, so I should be able to take him out. Lickety split! Yes! All right, we still clear? Everything's still good? Oh, all right. Regular kibble. One, two, three, and... Oh, baby! This is truly epic. So, yes, it's a frozen type. We've seen these already. It's a special shiny dino, but it's on the frozen glacial terrain. Remember this guy? This was like, it, he's insanely fast. The faster he flies, the more damage he does. That is so cool. What an epic combo. I saw it on the shiny finder. I just had to get it. Had to get it. Good job, Bling Bird. All right. Onward to the next one, guys. Um, Why don't we go after this guy that I've been talking about that is an absolute must-have in every pug playthrough. Such a powerful ability. Let me go show you. Wow, it is even cooler than I ever could have imagined. Look right in front of us. Yeah, the Bronto. Someone reminded me about this in the comments. I totally forgot it even existed. Or, you know, I knew it existed, but I totally forgot about it. The Terrestrial Bronto. 
Yeah, this thing gives a boost to any creature. Damage and speed boost to any dinos in the area. But the kind of glitch with it is you can hold it on your shoulder and it's always with you. So that is phenomenal. Now, this happens to be a special variant called a Taser Luna Terrestrial Brato. I just, I have to have it. Absolutely have to have it. So lucky to find this. It looks so incredibly cool. I almost feel like this is a new look for the Taser ones. I do not remember them looking so awesome. Um, doesn't look like there's too much bad in the area. Uh, it might be higher torpor. Oh, look, there's another. Dude, there's a bunch of them around here. Um, I'm a little afraid of this Taser ability. I'll be honest with you. I think what the uh, Taser ability does... Uh, let's grab all this stuff, is it might dismount you. I, I don't know. If that's the case, uh, this guy's kind of like our kryptonite for Dreamweaver. All right, come on, buddy. Come on. Let's see what we can do. Dreamweaver, come on. Oh, God. Oh, dude, it does. It dismounts. No. That is, oh, crap. That is exactly what it does. Oh, that is so bad. That is so, so bad. Oh, no. All right. Distract. Oh! I guess when you hit it. Oh, God. This is going to be pricey to tame. Holy crap. I'm going to have to use so many potions. Oh! Come on. Get it out. Get it out. Dude, this is... Oh, my lord. This is such a monstrosity. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right. Eat. Eat. Eat, I said. I'm eating, but it's not working. The health potions. Oh, thank goodness we have such good tranks. But God. All right. So what is this guy going to take? 18? I don't know if I have 18. Oh, lordy. All right, um, kibbles. Oh, thank goodness. All right, so 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. Starve out. Good God. This thing is a monster. It is so, like, honestly, have you ever seen anything so cool in your life? That is quite the Bronto. absolutely just jaw-droppingly cool we have to find more of these taser types man that is incredible i don't know because i've never tamed something this big that's a taser type did they always look like this or is this a new look it's spectacular all right well we have a battle bronto and look at we're getting it we're getting it battle buff massive boost to melee damage run speed and stamina regeneration. I mean, what? All right. That's probably a lot more difficult than doing any others. Because, again, it's the taser ability that made this so hard. Holy crud. But you know what? I think we need to get more than one. Yeah. There's another one right here. And it's a 602. Oh, crap. We need more kibble, though. <gasps> There's another one. Dude, they're everywhere here. All right, let me go. Uh, crap, this is going to be pricey. I think these are act these might actually be metal nodes. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. All right. No, they're not. What about this? Yeah, that's a metal node. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. I'm going to go harvest up a crap load. You know, I've always wanted to live in this biome. It is so cool. I'm going to harvest a crap load of metal. There's obsidian here too, which is kind of nice. What are you? All right. You're kind of metals. Yeah, that's great. Let me get a bunch and uh, make up a crap load more kibble. And let's see if we can get a couple more terrestrial brontos. All right. Kibble is made and hopefully we should have enough to tame two more. So 600. Let's see what it's like doing a normal one that's not a taser. I mean, it doesn't dismount us, so... Way better. It still does hit like a ton of bricks. This guy's strong. 
All right, beautiful. This one's going to take only 13. The other one was shiny, so way higher level. All right, so 5, 10, 1, 2, 3. Starve out, my friend. Nice. Yeah, these terrestrial abilities are really good. Some of them, you know, the ones that we have were... were I don't know. They're interesting. The only other terrestrial I think that we own. No, we got two. We got the Aranio that makes the uh, narco, the narcos. And then we have the Jerboa, which acts like refertilizer. Which is actually a pretty good combo. I really should leave my uh, Anklo out in my metal cave that we live and leave the Jerboa. And it would just regen the metal, I think, over and over. It would be so good. All right. We'll have to test that. All right. And can we let's get one more. One more for good measure. One, one more. Let's see if we can find a cool one. Oh, we got another. How is there two shinies? This wasn't even on the shiny finder before. It must have just spawned in. All right. Well, I'll take it a 720. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Oh, 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 what happened? How did that happen? Oh my goodness, my meteor went off. I don't know how that went off. What the crap? <sighs> Sometimes you just don't know your own strength. Let's find, let's, let's hope we can find another cool one. That sucked. Oh, good Lord. Um, I'm kind of glad we didn't get the last one because this is even better. This is an Alpha 600. That's the highest you can get. You can't get an alpha and as well as getting a shiny. You can only get one or the other. So we, I mean, we really need to look around for the alphas more, but we don't have an alpha finder. We have the shiny finder. So it helps me to locate these guys faster. Come on, you dumb vulture. All right, beautiful. Is there anything else that will bother us around here? All right. I think we're good. This guy has crazy torpor, though. Oh, I thought they're uh, the first thing that went in my head. It's an otter. Ooh. I was thinking weasel. All right. All right. Oh, why are you mad, bro? Why are you mad? Huh? All right. Here we go. Ooh. All right. Oh, this guy has got a lot more torpor. Look at that. Half a million torpor. And a lot higher attack. It hits us for over a thousand. Good God. Come on. Come on. We just got to make sure we don't. I don't know how that meteor went off before. Like, it makes no sense to me. I just don't know. All right. Doing good. Doing good. Come on, baby. You got this. Dude, I love this horse. It is a monster at doing knockouts. Come on. Come on. I mean, look at this. Half a million Torpor. Like, it's nothing. Yes. Down for the count. All right. So, it's only 13 Kibble. Gotta love it. All right. Kibble. And one, two, three. One, two, three. Serve out, baby. Oh, this one's going to be super cool. I'm not sure how it works in Pug. If you can, I don't think you can breathe through um, alphas. All right, we got it. Oh, I wonder. This, this is a pretty good bunch of them. Pretty good bunch of Brontos. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, let's continue on. My goodness, the day is just getting started and already look at the amazing new tames that we have. I can't believe we're able to find three 600 or higher level terrestrial Brontos. That is so incredibly good. And I love this new Pteranodon too. I got saddles on all of them and colored up. Dude, this Pteranodon is so sick. All right, um, why don't we grab, we're going to grab the normal one first. We'll actually try and go out on these guys, but this is the alpha one. That's the taser one. Um, let's go out on this one 
at first for now, because in case there's something I do wrong, this is the one I care about the least. All right, but it is the 600. Um, let's go ahead. We have the pickup relic. Boom. Does Pug have a pickup thing? Let me just see. Pug, I feel like it doesn't. It should. Like, I feel like it should, but I don't think it has one built in. But anyway, no matter. We now have battle boost because this guy is out. So let's go ahead. Pick him up on our shoulder. And if we want him to fight with us, we can, you know, let him be on attacking. But we're going to put him on passive. And, uh, yeah, we're going to try. In fact, you know what? Hold on. Hold the, hold the phone. Hold the phone. Let me let me first find out what this guy actually hits for before the pronto. I think that would make that would make more sense, right? All right. All right. All right. So can we find somebody to hit real quick? And I also don't want to give this guy his uh, special boost. All right, perfect. We've got a Bronto right here. Is there another Bronto in the area? Don't know if there is. Dude, look at that fight over there. All right, this may be the only Bronto. So let's give him a little smack. And all right, our meters totally down, everything like that. Boom, 822. Oh, God, I'm stuck in him. All right, so 822. Let's now get our battle Bronto. All right, come on, buddy, bro. And this works on anything. All right. Battle Bronto or, or Terrestrial Bronto. I, I mean to say, I always used to call them Battle Brontos. It's just, you know, it's more fun. All right, so again, pick up. Let's put them on our shoulder. Okay. And now that 822, you can see we have the buff on both our player and, and us. Let's go on down. All right. Don't want to have any speed. And I can already tell my speed's faster, too. And look at that. It got boosted like crazy. And now I can, with this Pteranodon, if I want to, go, let's see, full speed. And let's let's get there. And boom! Oh, without levels in it yet. Almost 50,000 we got to hit for it. That is incredible. And this is basically just going to be a turbocharger for any creature we use. It is so incredibly important to have. Oh, this is almost glitchy. Do you, do you see that? Like the screen glitching? It's so fast. It is totally, totally nuts. I think it's actually me glitching into my Bronto. I'm going so fast. It's so funny. All right. Oh, and let's get some hard stop. Come here, another Bronto. All right, let's get this guy. Yeah, dude, again, I have not put any levels into our guy yet. It is that incredibly good. Come here. Oh, did we just kill an alpha Bronto? That is so epic. I love it, guys. All right. We did that. We've already leveled up one of these dudes. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time on this just yet. Uh, uh, oh, man, there's a lot of badness right here. I don't want to dismount. Let's go find a safer place to dismount. Let's actually try out the Bronto on its own. See how good it is. Why don't we... All right, you did good, bro. Let's Let's go ahead. Let's use our big one. The question is, what's going to be better? I assume the alpha is going to be the strongest. I'm, I'm pretty sure it will, but let me see. So this one has 123 in the melee versus 170. So it's a big jump. That one only has 115. So this one does have better stats, but this one is the alpha boost. Is our only female, though, so we got to be careful with it. All right, come here, buddy, bro. Boom! And boom. Now, I didn't make the platform saddles. I, I could, but I find it's easier to, to see the guys. Now, I'm curious. Does this guy give a battle buff to himself? I think it does. Let's see. 26, 25, 24. We'll, we'll see if it, if it comes back again once it runs out. Oh, but amazing harvester. Holy crap. Wow. 12,000 to boot. That's pretty good. It's pretty fast, too. Oh, my goodness. But the harvest, bro. 
That is insane harvest. So yeah, we just got insane harvester, insane power. It's just a jack of all trades. I don't know. Do you think it's going to swim good too? Do you think it's going to be a good swimmer? It's so funny. Brontos. Brontos and uh, Titanosaurs, when they uh, when they get into the water, they they go kind of, excuse me, when they when they sprint, they look like they're just sliding. All right, uh, let's give this guy a little bit of oomph before we uh, go too crazy. That guy should leave us alone. Bada bing, bada boom, bada boom. Let's boot, it's got battle Bronto. Let's boost the melee. All right, and Boom! Get the alpha! Good god. That is so good. This guy don't even know how to hit me. He's like, what are you? Don't mess with me. I am the Battle Bronto. Whoa, he's sending out his little flies at us. Come on. Good god. Can you swing your tail the other way? There we go. All right. I, I believe we got him. Uh, hopefully we're not stuck though. All right. What about a Moesai? Can you get them? I've never really brought Brontos in water much. All right. Let's just see. What what is it gonna be like? Bronto in the water. Holy cow! It gets even faster. Do you see this? What is going on with the world? It's a water Bronto. Do you think this is how the Loch Ness monster started? Whoa! No! What's going on? Holy crap! Dude! Alright, dismount. Remount. Holy crap. This is the fastest creature I've ever seen in the water. Like, you gotta be kidding me. What it? <laughs> it launched us like no other! What is going on, Battle Bronto? Look at this. It's, and it just like gets faster and faster and faster. I've never seen anything so fast in the water. Like it's, it, it's almost like a teleport. Like we went so far. All right. Let's try and launch this way. Come on, come on. Dude, look at us. That is so epic. We're st <laughs> I don't even know, bro. I just don't even know. All right, all right, here we go. Let's try and launch again. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it. Whoa, Battle Bronto, what are you doing? <laughs> what is going on? I don't know, we got a flying Bronto apparently. That's his next ability. Dude. All right, please don't die from fall damage. Please don't, all right, dismount. That is truly incredible. And yeah, just like that, we're all the way up on a mountain in the Redwoods. I just don't even know, bro. This is too ridiculous. Like, <laughs> what the crap? All right. And just slay everybody. All right. Um, How are we doing level-wise? All right. I guess let's see what this guy's like at max attack. We already know he can fly. He can swim like a torpedo. It's nuts. All right. We are there. Boom. With the battle Bronto at max attack in one, two, three, four, and a five. I think it's got plenty of movement speed. Um, If anything, it's got plenty of weight. I think we should just boost the health even more. Just shy of a million. All right, what is this guy gonna hit for? Let's go and, oh, I hate these things. Let's get this guy. Actually, let's hit this little thing. 38,000. That's really good. And especially to have a reach that far that does 38,000. That's pretty incredible. That is stupendous. So, I mean, it in itself is absolutely phenomenal. You know, there's no arguing there. However, where this guy is going to really, 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 really shine is to make our strongest, strongest creatures even stronger, just like I showed you with the Pteranodon. Well, imagine that on the Giga. Yeah, 
I think that is going to be where it gets super impressive. Or on our RG. All right, so why don't we... I've been, by the way, going around and uh, all the things because it can't harvest. I've been taking Brain Freeze and harvesting all the Primal Hide, which we needed pretty bad. All right, buddy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to... Uh, let's see if I can hold all this. It's got a lot, a lot of weight on it. All right, and... Oh, just barely. All right, Brain Freeze, you come here. And I think we... Ha oh, crap. Uh, Giga! Giga! Cyborg! Is that you? No, that cyborgs are racks. All right, let's see what it makes cyborg hit for. 72,000. Wow. But um, again, hold on. If we go last remote, I think it will send cyborg back to where he was. It's Gigatron that we want. All right. Um, Gigatron. Oh, yeah. All right. Come here, Gigatron. Let's see. Oh, it makes him even faster. What? That is so much. It went up by like 120. 120. That's a lot. And you know what? I think I want to chew on one of these stupid little turkeys over here. <laughs> Bouncer. All right, come here. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see how it does on a turkey. Get wrecked, turkey! This little guy was getting it so bad before. And he's already done. That is epic. By the way, what is this? I don't know if I've ever been in here. There, I find new places that I've never been all the time in Pug. It is it is too crazy. All right, uh, Gigatron, give me. And... Let's go see what's inside here. Let's investigate. And I love how this battle pronto, even if I want to use it on my own player, makes it even insane. You know what? Maybe I have been in here. Whoa, Nelly. All right. Uh, we need to grab somebody else. Who can we grab to bring with us? And you know what, Bronto, you are so heavy. Can can we just like get the, the best of the best that's in here? Oh. Narcos, Mayho. All right, let's just take that stuff. The rest, uh, you're going to drop. All right, do I have my thing out? All right, it's dropped. Now, let's... um. Who would be another good option for like a guy for a cave? I know we have a million different options. And you know what? Let's go back to the base real quick. Let me dump off everything. And let's go investigate the cave. Oh, this is going to be perfect. I have Spectra. Yeah, our Tumultuous Saber, the one that shoots the lightning. Um, I think that's exactly what it needs is the Battle Bronto. Come on, get up there. Oh, my. Look, we are going to whoop all these stupid scorpions now. This is the power that we needed. Come on. Do your thing, Spectra. Come on. Yeah. Wowzers! Now, I know that isn't, like, the most insane big damage, but um, that's a huge improvement to what it was hitting for and gives it the extra little oomph that it needed. Ooh, look in here. All right, I think this is about all this cave is. There's a lot of stuff in here, but, ooh, kind of scary. All right, maybe Spectra was not the best choice, but at least for that starter little part, um, we could go, you know, I'm going to throw a teleporter here to come back later just so that we can remember. All right, but let's, let's put it by the entrance. I don't want to do it there and by mistake fall. All right, let's do it right here. Perfect. The bug cave would be the better spot. So let's teleport over there. We were having huge problems there before. Let's see if this alleviates all those past problems. All right. Oh, there birds. Oh, it is so good. All right. It's going to be a little lag. Yep. And we're in. Dude, a Bronto's on my shoulder in here. And it's just annihilating. 
Get the crap out of here. This is so good. It's finally doing what I had originally wanted so that we don't have to fear every dang thing that we run into. Just look at that. All right, dire bears are a little different story, but we're still going to handle them. Man, look at the levels on these guys. Cave bears! Come here, bro. We wrecking them yet? Come on! All right, level 1000 cave bear. All right, let's continue on. As long as it... Oh! As long as it handles these scorpions, that's the scary part. And it seems to be. All right, that one's an alpha one. Come on. Dude, it's doing so good. All right, that guy is 155,000 health. All right. Oh, come on. Yes. All right, as long as we don't... The alpha ones are a little scary, but again, it's just... It's doing so much better. So, so much better. Like, I'm just not worried about it. I have not seen my torpor rise. And I have not had to, like, back off. Look at that. Okay, I'm backing off a little bit. But you know what I mean. Come on! Yes! That is so good. It's almost flinching them. Now, remember, if I wanted to, I could, I could put the Battle Bronto to be attacking as well. In fact, um, should I try that? Hold on, let's wait. All right, check this out. Whistle! Get him, Bronto! Oh, he's not doing it. He should do it. I don't know why he's not. Get him! All right, whatever, I can't, I can't deal with that. Maybe he'll hit every so often. It's probably because we're in a little tiny cave. All right, that was the first time my torpor became problematic. Get out of here, Scorpion! But again, no biggie, no biggie. Wow. So cool, dude. Look at the torpor go up. That is craziness. But yeah, I just, I can't think of a scenario in which having a Bronto on your shoulder isn't phenomenal. It is just such a good creature. And yeah, it's not how it was intended to be used since there's no pickup in Pug. But hey, if you got it, it it's a game changer. All right. Lastly, let's find out if the taser one is actually, I assume the alpha is going to be the strongest, but you're never going to know for sure until we try. So taser. Now we know the taser as far as being like against other players, the automatic dismount, if you like hit it is nuts. And I'd say this look is very cool. Very, very. What did the other one hit for at first? Um, I feel like it was 13. I don't know. I'd have to go back in the footage. I don't like to do that while I'm playing, but it's possible this one's even stronger. All right, we'll, we'll see. Once we see what the max max is, let's go ahead, put in all the level up things. Let's start to bump the melee. And I'm really curious, like do other wild creatures, do they get tasered when they hit me? causing more damage or shock or paralyzation or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to play around with them for a while. This really is one of the coolest looking though. I have to say, like, honestly, have you ever seen anything so cool? I just love that look. Absolutely glorious. Let me get it maxed out and we'll be the judge. My Lord, am I glad we tested this because uh, I was just going to chalk it up to the alpha stronger. Well, we're at 255 now. Let's go ahead. Also bump in that health and let's see. Let's see. So the alpha was hitting for what was it like 39,000? In fact, you know what? Just just to make sure that it's fresh in my head. Let's go ahead. So here's the alpha one. Okay. Alpha one hitting for... Oh, it, 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 okay. We're even giving it a mate boost. All right. It's hitting for 51,000 with a mate boost. Okay. Which 
I'm not going to give the other guy mate boost. So 51,000 with mate boost. This one... Fifty three thousand without me boost. I mean, what? That is so good. On top of that, like, it is so cool looking. It is. It's better than an alpha. Now that's due to its level. Being the shiny, the shinies on this map we're playing can go all the way to nine hundred wild. Whereas the alphas can only go to 600 wild. But still, you would think the alpha would still be stronger. I love it. Now, I haven't noticed any additional shocks, but it's kind of hard to see when you're on such a large creature. Um, perhaps uh, we can find... I don't know. We're kind of high in the pecking order. Can we find somebody that will attack us? I, I really want to see this. All right. Maybe, maybe in here. Okay. Or we just kill everybody. All right, what about a Moza? Moza, bite me! Is it shocking him? Dude, I, I think he got shocked. I thinks. I don't know. Maybe maybe he was only for a second. Come on. He's like, nope, nope, nope. I'm not biting you again. Come on, Moza. Bite me. Yeah, electrocuted. We electrocute him when he bites us. Now, it's uh, it looks like it does have a little bit of a timer, so it's like... He didn't get elect. Okay, got electrocuted. That is so cool. That is a great ability. So, like, if we got this tasered on, you know, something else, like for like a cave creature, it would give us uh, an extra, you know, like for instance, that saber. It would give us an extra couple of seconds before we get hit again because the guy would be electrocuted for a little bit. That is a phenomenal defensive ability. And then if you're playing PvP, holy crap, is that good. Automatic dismount. Um, I just may have found one of my favorite new shinies for actually, like, a useful effect. And it looks cool, too. Oh, man. So we're going to have to keep our eyes uh, open for this. This is also one of the shiny abilities that I do believe we can extract and move on to something else if we wanted to. But yeah, I am I am quite thrilled. I love our new Bronto. We are absolutely baller. Oh my lord. It just doesn't get any better. So on that note, guys, let's get back to the base and let me go through those comments. All right, guys, I just finished going through the comments and yes, it is now that time. That's right. Time to name the dinos. For those of you that do not know, at the end of every single episode, I go through the comments of the previous episode and I pick out all the most awesomest name suggestions that you guys leave in the down there. That's right. Just remember, if you want to have a chance of getting your name chosen, you got to be a subscriber. So smash that subscribe button and yeah, just comment down below. It is just that easy. Anyway, for today, we've got, yes, all the creatures behind us. We have the two rock drakes. Their names will be Avalanche, love it, and Blood Moon. Very cool. Our Rex is going to be hollow bite love it and prime horn for our trike which unfortunately we didn't get a chance to try out yet but don't you worry prime horn will have uh an extra special job for us coming soon for next time we need name for this epic <laughs> what, what is it called frozen glacial pteranodon it's so incredibly cool I could never thumbnail this, though, because you just you, you don't get the full effect unless you can see it live and see it from all angles. It is just glorious. And from all of our new amazing Battle Brontos. Love it. Anyway, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again. And as always, peace out.